Hey everybody, Stu Smith here with a CSS critique. This time, a little bit different from your typical pull, breathe, kick, glide, one Mississippi, two Mississippi technique focused critique. This one is solely on the breathing, the um, inhale, exhale portion of the swim for long distance swims. This also is a really good combat swimmer stroke with fins that this guy does 75 yards in a minute. Um, you know, if he were to stretch that out, you know, that kind of pace, probably going to get you about, you know, 100 yards in a minute 20, minute 25. So you're probably going to do about 1,000. If he could maintain this pace for 1,000, he's going to be at the 15-minute mark easy. Um, so this is a fast CSS. Might not look fast, but it's it's pretty fast. Um, the reason why we have fins, and sometimes you may not have a faster swim time with fins compared to without fins, is because these big rocket fins and jet fins used in military type swimming aren't really for speed. They're for power that gets you through currents and tides and other things that are pushing on you when you're swimming, um, trying to swim in a straight line, most times scuba diving, but you'll also do some surface swims as well. But that's why we wear the bigger fins and don't worry about you not being faster with a pair of big rocket fins on compared to your times without them. So, good news is this breathing rhythm is very similar to the way it is um without fins and i will share my screen here and show you guys what i'm talking about and we'll go from here so got a good streamline off the wall those little few dolphin kicks into it now notice this glide position here see the bubbles coming out he starts his exhale here and then fully exhales with that top arm and then uses the bottom arm to inhale. That's how it's done. Okay, so kick off the wall. Sometimes get a few flutter kicks or dolphin kicks, whatever floats your boat to get the momentum going off the wall. There you go. Start exhaling. Fully exhale during underwater with that top arm. And as you finish inhale, exhaling, you are now ready to inhale and pull that bottom arm at the same time. So that's the mechanics of this breathing rhythm and timing if you want to do it. Now, if you didn't have fins, it'd be the same thing. Instead of all these little kicks, you just do one big kick and glide and you start exhaling during the glide and then finish exhaling during the um, during the top arm pull and then you inhale during the bottom arm pull. So the sequence goes, let him turn around here. Sequence goes, kick off the wall, get some momentum, starts off with a top arm, bottom arm, kick and glide. Kick, kick, kick and glide. All right. So you're basically pulling the top arm, pulling the bottom arm and inhaling at the same time. Kick, 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 and keep going. So that is the CSS with fins breathing rhythm. A lot of people screw that up. Sometimes they uh, exhale and inhale during that top arm pull, which throws them off for your timing. Try it this way and it will feel a lot smoother. All right, this is Stu Smith talking combat swimmer stroke. Guys, check out stusmithfitness.com as well as military.com fitness section, as I have well over a thousand articles online at both of those websites. I will chat with you later.